All right. Hmm. Seems like, for now, Green is holding on. I see green. I see green. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Command Center. My name is David DeLeon, a.k.a. Commander Lionheart, back again. A brand spanking new episode of First Strike, the show where I sit down, play the beginning of a video game. Well, no, wait. Why am I saying that? Tonight's not First Strike. Tomorrow's First Strike. I am on default mode because last night I was experimenting with something. I bought a boom arm. So, uh, yeah, I was recording and listening to myself and recording and listening to myself and recording and listening to myself. I have that stupid catchphrase now stuck in my head still. So yeah, no, tonight is not first strike. Tomorrow's gonna be first strike. Tonight, we're back with Banjo and Kasui, uh, playthrough part number five. <laughs> uh, hey, Debra, welcome to the stream. I'll be having a grand old time. Um, I'm hoping Midos arrives early because I need some input from him specifically. And from any of you out there who are listening, um, experimenting with yourself, TMI. Yes, I was experimenting with myself. I am in. I am a growing boy, and uh, you know that that is what you do when you are starting to grow up. When you uh, reach a certain uh, age, you start experimenting with yourself, and uh, yeah, that's 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 about the gist of it. That's about it. Also, hey Bernard, welcome to the stream. Okay, so I bought a boom arm. It wasn't supposed to be for the. Uh, Blue Yeti, but since the Elgato Wave 3 that I ordered two weeks ago still hasn't arrived, um, I just hooked up the Blue Yeti into the boom arm. That's why you see this thing right here. That's the pop filter. Well, supposedly supposed to be a pop filter, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work. Anyways, I need you guys to tell me if. You can hear me well if there is good sound because something that I noticed last night while um, doing the recordings that I ended up just giving up at one point because I was like, maybe I should just do this live so that other people can tell me whether or not it sounds good or not. One of the things that I have noticed is that because I have I, I have filters put on the microphone, I have uh noise reduction so that you guys don't hear the fan this fan that is over here giving me some much needed wind um i had there is also um gain so that it, it's not too low but also there is noise gate that one is a little bit troublesome for me i think because sometimes what it does is you know, it's great that it isolates uh, certain noises that I don't want. But it also means that depending on how I'm talking, sometimes it will just mute the mic for some reason. Like, not mute the mic, but uh, understand that you guys will not hear some some stuff if I... My lips, but there's no... Can't hear me or sometimes while i'm in the middle of sentences it'll just cut off cut me off like for some odd reason so i am very heavily inclined to kind of get rid of it because i want you guys to hear everything i don't i don't give a damn about what i say not the noises but at least my voice my voice that is what is important my voice so we're going to experiment with that tonight. I'm going to take out the noise gate. You'll probably hear some noises still, but hopefully it doesn't cut off my voice. Again, important part of this stream. So, bye noise gate. Noise gate has been deactivated. Also, the reason why I wanted the Elgato Wave 3 is because um, apparently I can have it a little bit further away than I 
have this one right now because the the blue yeti i have it like right here uh it's not even one feet one one foot away so i would like to have it a little bit farther away from me but we'll see how that works anyways sounds great here you're and clear thank you um i'll keep experimenting probably during the stream uh let's start already the game because that's what you're all here for the games not to hear me talking all technological and shit about microphones and pop filters and any of that so let's get with banjo and kazooie and let's do a kablooey so how's everybody doing tonight on this fine evening afternoon day morning I don't know, whatever time zone you're in. So let me... Yeah, bye. Pop! Yes, the pop. Alright. Uh... Alright, start. start. Keep wanting to press just A. Or B. Yeah. -ha! So, uh, wait, I forgot. I remembered. You people did not remind me to just hit load. There, we're right there. Look at that. We're right where we need to be. I don't have to go. You can't go full screen. Uh, I don't. Hmm. Let's, let's see what happens if I do go full screen. Uh, hopefully... Um, where is it? It's somewhere around here. Soon I gotta start preparing for my trip. I'm doing well, tired, because I worked two hours of overtime. Oh, hey. If they're paying you, if, if they are paying you those hours, then, you know... If they're giving you that juicy bonus money. Where the hell is full screen? I know that it's somewhere. I've s I've seen it. I've seen the option for me to put this shit on full screen. But where is it? My video latency configuration. No, we've already gone there. Uh, on screen display, maybe. Uh, where are you? I have seen you before. Full screen. Where are you hiding? Kids mode. Um. Huh. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't know where it is, Bernard. So, I guess that we're gonna have to keep working on it, not full screen, I guess. Unless somebody... Oh, here it is. I think. There it is! Alright. Now we're good. Now we're... Now we're Gucci. There. Full screen. Just for you, Bernard. I went full screen. The reason I usually don't use the full screen is... Or I didn't use the full screen before. Because I had, like technical problems I believe with it so I don't know we'll see how it we'll see what happens we'll see how it goes um, okay so what am I in for in this level thanks also pop pop and Kasui and bye bye bat I think that there's like some frame rate slowdown. Make sure you break all windows. To the window, to the wall.
Can I kill them? Can I kill those things? Is the question. Also, reloading because... For reasons, I guess. I don't know. It's it's a default of me right now. By the way, Bernard, how much time are you gonna be uh, over here? think you need to but you can Doo -doo 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 -doo. probably like a month damn that's a lot of time boy that's an extended vacation an extended vacay uh -huh, I see you there no I'm actually gonna stay near you at some point oh no oh no I'm going to make sure to put some barbed wire around the house make a uh... Plank the, the windows, the full Monty. Probably some laser, uh, laser guided turrets. Make sure to, I just to identify you specifically. If you are close enough. That's not an extended vacation because I'll be Make sure you break all gates, windows, and basement. So do I just have to break them, or do I need to go inside the windows as well? Like I was, like I did with the other one. Crossover episode when? Trust me, not even G can get into this house, so... Your, your probability are pretty much zero percent. There are notes, jiggies, and I think a jinjo. All right, I killed him. Uh, is there anything that I can do with this painting? This is anti-New York discrimination. No, it's anti-everybody discrimination. Again, no G, no Mythos, no Bernard, no nobody in this house. Right, right. How do I do that again? I already forgot. It's been a week, guys. Nothing special on paintings, plus breaking everything lets you know what rooms you went to. Again, I forget how to play this game every single week. This is a problem. Okay, so, let's see. I went to that one. Uh, I didn't went to the other one. I mean, I did, first time, died, reloaded, so let's go back in there. When are, go when are we going to the bar? You assume I go to bars, sir. The most I can tell you is that you can go... To Napoveres in San Germán, 
so that I can yell at you, Sir, get out of my store. That's about it. That's the closest you'll get to see me. I'll be like, security! This man, he's not welcome in here. He is bringing Ligma to this country. This fine establishment. Get him off of the premises at this instant. <laughs> you know what that sounds like, dude? Is it Croc Legend of the Gobos that has like enemies that sound kind of like that? Sound like Trump, Emma. Stop. Please stop. <laughs> That's kind of the point. I'll say I'm with the FBI and they're regarding illegal content in your laptop. Joke's on you, I don't have a laptop. Um, I feel like there's something here, right? Go goes with golden feathers. I... Um, right? I can break this, right? Seems like I can. Oh, each barrel? Oh, okay. But except for that one, I guess. There he is. By the way, Bernard, now that I remember, you were at the Nintendo store in New York, right? Did you see the. Did they by any chance have the Banjo Kazooie amiibo? You know what's funny now that I remember? There's a Banjo Kazooie amiibo and a, and a Banjo Kazooie Totaku. Both the wings are gonna be very important in this level. No, but they had the Monster Hunter ones. Eh. Not, not interested. Can get you the amiibo. I know where they sell them here. Good, good. Like I, I haven't bought an amiibo in a long ass time, but you know, I, there are some that I would like to have. Um, the Joker from per, from Persona Five has the Pyra amiibo um come out yet? The Xenoblade Chronicles one. I mean, the Super Smash Bros. Uh, Xenoblade one, I guess. If I send you Catherine for PlayStation, would you play it? I would do a first strike. But also, you don't have to send anything if I already have this. Unless you're referring to PlayStation 4, but then again, I don't know if I would, like, play the whole thing through, so... For myself, I won't- I wouldn't do a full playthrough of the game. <laughs> Catherine is so good. Mmm. Mmm. I've seen it. I've seen Catherine. Um, but you have the regular version. I am talking the new one. Yeah, I don't have the new version. I just, I have, I have had that version for woo, long ass time. Well! 
Oh no, I don't like that laugh. Sounds like Oogie Boogie. Um, I don't know. Like, again, I don't know. I don't think that I would do a full playthrough of Catherine, even if you did send it to me. Like, Bernard is sending me Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, uh, so that I can, so that I do a first strike of that. Greeting, so solid one. I'm Tumblr the Mighty. Solve the puzzle. And you can take this infernal thing that's stuck under me. Oh no. What do I do here? Okay. Clearly, wasn't gonna happen. Hey John! Welcome to the stream! Hope you're having a grand old time. By the way, I know that John saw it, but I gotta ask everybody else out there. You guys see the Mortal Kombat movie? Is he always going to go the same way? Did he give me a feather? Or no? Um, Pop! No? I just have to spell Banjo, right? Fuck. Or is that a- No, wait, that is a, an, an, an- Right? Get on top of the cup and forget about the ghost? Wait, on top of the cup? Oh, I moved the cup. Oh, okay. So that's not a... Yeah, that's not an N. It's, it is a C. Ban... Where is it? Yo... Fuck. I'm not gonna make it. Can already tell. Molly. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking sounds like one of those enemies in Croc Legend of the Gobos. Okay, I have more than enough time this time. At least I hope. Alright, there it is. At last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Couldn't you just disappear from the beginning? I uh, just got home from seeing Demon Slayer Mugen Train. That movie was incredible. For some reason, someone was... Cutting onions in the theater in the last five minutes, and I saw Mortal Kombat. It was fun. Yeah, Mortal Kombat was... Fun. It was... It was good. That's all, that's, that's all that matters, right? At least to me, it was good. Um, could have been better. 
you know? If we go by my mystery movie friends uh, rating, life is good, but it could be better. So that's that's exactly what that was. That's exactly what that uh, movie was. Life is good, but it could be better. Hmm. Is there anything down here? Yep. 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 Dive. 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 But oh my god, Demon Slayer was amazing. I can't wait for season two. I watched the double toasted review of Demon Slayer from someone who has not watched a single season of Demon Slayer actually it is pretty fun also Kano was awesome yeah Kano is literally the best part about that Mortal Kombat movie guys like seriously <laughs> right save right when you get hit boy that is brilliant This is not going good. I do not like this. Is there by any chance that I'm doing this wrong? Like, am I supposed to be a different transformation? Because I see that pipe down there. Oh. Like... Without Kano in that movie, it probably wouldn't have been as good as I as I think it is, honestly. Like, you know what? Here's here's what here's what I think they should have done. They should have done the Marvel Cinematic Universe route or thing, you know. Um, they should have, what they should have done instead of this movie is make three separate movies. And let me explain. One movie focusing on Scorpion and Sub-Zero, one movie focusing on Sonya and Jax, and one focusing on Liu Kang and Kung Lao. Like, that would have, that should have been what they do. If not three separate movies, a TV show. Like, how Marvel is doing it again. I, again, going back to the Marvel formula. Because that's the one that has worked so far. They could have done a TV show focusing on one episode with each character. And then, the, the, and then do an actual Mortal Kombat movie with those same characters or those same actors you know like again other people absolutely do not like the movie and i understand why um i i had problems with it but not to the degree of you know hating the movie grab the rope uh, I like Cole and Sonya too. I like Cole more than Liu Kang, but that's not saying enough. Um, I did not like Liu Kang that much uh, in the movie, unfortunately. Um, Sonya, I like more than um, than the original, than uh, the original Mortal Kombat uh, Sonya. Because as we discussed in our review of Mortal Kombat 1995, which you can check out over on youtube.com slash Commander Lionheart, it's right there on Mystery Movie Friends. Um, she, that actress, looked like she did not want to be there. So, um, at least this one, I actually uh, liked more. Disappointed no one's spine got ripped out. Fire guy or hide guy? Fire guy or head guy? What do you mean? Liu Kang is the fireballs guy. Uh, 
fuck. Oh, there's the boots. I've been doing this. I've di I've been doing this all wrong. Some reason I can't. Oh no! <laughs> Couldn't remember which was which. Yeah, Kung Lao is the head guy, and Liu Kang is the fire guy. Um, I didn't particularly care about Liu Kang, honestly. Like he was, he was too. Um, I technically I like Jax uh, by default because um, he the actor who is Macab Brooks, his brother, um, he shows up uh, in the Double Toasted um, shows. So you know, on a technicality, I kind of liked him just because of that. Because all I saw was his brother, Billy Brooks. Um, but yeah, other than, other than that, um, Kano was fantastic, uh, obviously. Uh, Scorpion, really liked him. Wish he were more in the movie. Sub-Zero was menacing. And... Uh, it, he, it was, he was kind of like a Mr. X, I guess, you could say. Um, with him just popping up everywhere. I'm getting this from someone who has never played an MK game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've only played MK10, so. So, what has been your favorite level so far? Um. Hmm. Whichever one is not the. Uh, Underwater one, I guess. Inkabunga. That's that's probably my answer. Uh, okay, so where do I keep going? Oh, I see notes up there. You can't hide from me, you sons of bitches. I just saw you. Yeah, there we go. There we go, mate. Nah. Mm. I actually played Jax, played Jimmy Olsen, and Supergirl. Oh yeah, that too. I have heard about that too. Um... Let's see. Favorite level in this game, though. Hmm. What do... Which, which one do I like? Like, the problem with me playing, like, once a week is that I... Don't remember shit, so I don't know. I don't know. Treasure Trove Cove is actually good. Do you like the Florida level? What do you mean Florida level? The Florida level? Uh, Treasure Trove Cove? Guys, why do you fall? Okay. The swamp level. Um, that's the one with the crocodiles, right? I don't know. I don't know, that one was... <laughs> Dead. You think you can surprise me, you fool? Come out of there, Dracula. You big nerd, you owe me some money. This was Jack's power growing robot arms? That was weird. Yeah! Also... No spoilers, though, uh, John. Clearly, you hated the desert. Oh, yeah! Ah! Uh, I... 
I hated that level as a kid. The swamp. Yeah. Deborah brings up a, a very good point, though. I did hate the desert. Especially with all of you trying to... Trying to, uh... Make me go ballistic. Um... Like, compared to that, the swamp wasn't really that bad. Again, I think that just... Maybe the first level and Treasure Trove Cove have been mine. I mean, the first level is too basic, though. I think that Treasure Trove Cove has so far been the... What is this? My favorite one, maybe? Mm, no, not that. Someone's sleeping. Sleeping? Sleeping. It's a ghost. But you hated the desert because you suck. Here's the deal, Bernard. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Come closer. I suck at everything. So, what's the difference? A little bit of suck here, a little bit of suck there. What's the difference, mate? Grunty's gold, how it's shown. She'll be mad, now it's gone. I'm mad, by but I'll put up your useless spooky butt. Okay. I want Jack's actor to play Cyborg. Huh, interesting. I liked him as, I liked him as Jax. I don't know if I would like, want him to be Cyborg though. I think Ray Fisher did a good job in Justice League, in Zack Snyder's Justice League at least, not original Justice League. That's my secret cap, I always suck. Yep, that's true. I'm always on the sucking. You seem to like the snow level. Snow level was okay-ish. I don't like the ice physics though. Like. I don't like the ice physics in Spyro, so I don't like the ice physics in in, in Banjo Kazooie, and I absolutely don't like the ice physics in Super Mario. So, what I'm saying is, I don't like ice physics in general, which is why I live in a fucking island. No ice. Also, I was promised Old Man Jenkins. What do you mean you were promised Old Man Jenkins? I don't have Meadows here to tell me if you guys redeem uh, loins or not, so... Because for some odd stupid reason, the restream chat doesn't tell me. It doesn't let me know if if you guys have redeemed or not. But let me let me pull up real quick here the, the, the Twitch on my phone. Um, and... Uh, is it stream manager? I forget. Okay, there it is. I see it now. I see it. Yeah, I see that you redeemed old man Jenkins. I see it, Bernard. Don't worry. Let me just... Uh... <clears throat> Alright, so... Where was I? I remember... Back in my day... What am I supposed to do here? I don't... I don't understand. Also, I did... Did I not lose any of my... Oh wait, I don't lose feathers because I did not flap. So... I am having this existential crisis right now deciding what the hell to play. Because I literally finished Infamous today and now... I kind of want to play Infamous 2. <laughs> if only I could reach that stupid statue without having to waste the stupid feather. Do I have to bash those paintings? Somebody tell me what the hell I have to do here. I know that there's a mouse hole, I guess. Well, I hit the painting. Nothing happened. Oh, 
Let me see. What else? What else? Is that a different painting that I have to hit? I am actually... Am I actually losing life? Did what you were supposed to do here, which was get the jiggy. And that's it? So what the hell's the point of this thing? Why the hell did they put this thing here then? You can't just put that and not expect me to try to do something. Well, I broke the front door. Uh-huh. I see this. I, I see you. I see that I will have to come back here for something. Anyways, now I have to go back up. God damn it. There's another window. That I have not broken. A toilet. Do I flush him? Income bomb bomb. Have to enter the house through the chimney and go through the chairs to make sounds and take the jiggy from the ghost. Does the chairs have to do with the jiggy? Because I already took the jiggy. I got jiggy with it. Like, I just used the golden feather and he was like, oh no. This motherfucker. What do I do with the with the toilet? Do I break it? Do I smash him? Should I poop on it? I think that I have to poop on it, right? And forget about that. So what I literally did was I broke the game, right? I I I did it without having to do the the developer's intent intended stuff procedural thingy. Poop on it. See? I knew it. You gotta poop on it. I think. Take my poop! You're a toilet! That's what you do! It was right in there! Goddamn flabbit, stupid goddamn toilets! Messing with an old man. I don't Oh, I just oh, bear is much too fat to fit in Logo's mouth. Ah, okay, so it's not pooping. Everything should just be resolved by pooping. Pooping's so great. Pooping, pooping, pooping. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Don't, don't, don't panic! Aha! Uh -huh. I see a honeycomb. Come to the honeycomb hideout! Uh, apparently I can't, I don't fit in there. So I guess pumpkins only? Are only allowed or something? Maybe I, what if I slide? No? Okay. Also, the minute is over. <clears throat> so I can return to talking like this. Instead of like this. Um, by the way, Genshin Impact just got it, the PS5 uh, version. Like, half an hour ago. Well. No! Damn, 38. 
Right half an hour ago, like an hour ago. Don't fall. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> ah. This level's actually like pretty chill compared to the desert. Okay. Clearly Clearly wasn't going to There. Go in. Thank you. Is there a monster? No monster. But there is a monster close by. Ah, that's not what I wanted to press. That's what I wanted to press. Gone Feather! There's gotta be a Bond villain that is called Gold Feather, right? Um. Hmm. Thought a, sh a shoulder bash would open it. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. I knew you were hiding in there, you coward. So, do you get to open this treasure chest? Yes or no? Yeah, I know that there's Goldfinger and the man with the golden gun, but there has to be like some sort of parody or something. Like called Gold Feather. And maybe it's even tied to the good feathers from uh, Animaniacs. You don't open the treasure chest? Why put a treasure chest if you're not going to open it? Back in my day. Well, this is from back in my day. So never mind. Okay, I think that I've gone through all the windows. Why am I still talking like this? I truly am lost. Ah, no! Come on, I want to skip that stupid. Check the top window. The other one is hidden. Wait, what are we talking about? Like, I already went into this one. If this was the one that you were referring to. And this is where I just came from. And I've already been to the chimney. Chimney? Chimney? Chimney cricket? Probably I must be tripping. It's no longer 420. Unless you know. It's always 420 in this household. <sighs> Well, I don't know. If I am missing anything, we'll make sure to come back here. Maybe. Alright. So. Is 
Is there anything that I can get uh, by skipping the maze? Like something on top of the maze that it couldn't get otherwise? An ass whooping, apparently, because these ghosts can actually hurt me. You have no drip. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Swaggity, swaggity. Some booty, booty. I don't know what I'm saying. You got the drip. You got the swagger. Yeah. Am I losing my mind? Maybe. God damn it, I was already there. Why didn't you pick it up? My god. Sweet baby D. I uh, see a Jinjo. Is this a trap? I feel like this is a trap. Should have been a trap. 100% should have been a trap. You have failed game. You fail. You get. Do you want to know? Do you want to know what you what you're gonna get? An F. You know what else starts with an F? Fairy god parrots. Which means that Banjo Kazooie actually has fairy god parrots. Can I break the lock? So do I actually do have to cross the things without? I feel like I do. I have to cross this labyrinth through the upper part, I guess. Thought that I would be like <laughs> doing some sick uh, secret moves or something. Apparently, it's how the game's decide. I don't know. Why do you fall? Why do you fall? Do you know the way? God damn you, bear. Why do you fall? That's it. I'm using the board. The board is shit. At least there's this one. I did not see this one. That's on me. I'm sorry, boy. You're not shit. At least not for now. Why must I fall? Why do bears fall? Somebody tell me. Incambumba. Use the bird, Banjo. Use the bird. What? Excuse me? So that damages you? Because it's full of thorns, I guess? I feel like in some games, you have to, like, uh, shoulder bash these tombstones oh they're enemies oh okay oh do i have to keep using the golden feathers on every single enemy oh no okay just three hits these are sturdy enemies i guess do i also have to be a pumpkin for this thing to activate feel like that tombstone is going to come alive somehow. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I wanted to break it, not go through it. Ah. But still, it works. It just works. Was expecting you to do that.
Well, no actual notes or anything in here, but... We got some stuff. We re recuperated some uh, life and got some feathers. All right. So, let's see. Another one of you. Die. You're already dead, but die just in case. Do I have to do something to it? I thought that there was only one of these, but now I see two and now I feel inclined to do something to them. Okay, nothing. Maybe an egg? Poop. Yeah, okay. Okay, how does that... No, nothing. No, hmm, I mean... Eh. Yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I need better aiming. Smell my fart. What was that? I did not like that. <laughs> I absolutely did not like that. Um, how about less talking? Pot? Yes? Please? You know what? I really don't want to hear another one of those things thanking me. This level used to scare me back in the old days. God, I can imagine... I can actually imagine... Um, what do these loins do for you? I I don't know. I wish me those were here to explain what channel points actually do for me. It's, it's mostly, I guess, for you guys? I don't know. What do channel points do? That is a good question, Bernard. I'm very happy that you asked it. Let's research together. Let us... Let us see what channel points do. What... Do... Channel... Points... Do for the streamer. Here's a good... Here's a good one. Channel points is a customizable points program that leads... Let streamers reward members of their community with perks, including a taste of benefits typically reserved for subscribers. It's available to all partners and affiliates. Channel points comes with built-in ultimate rewards that streamers can customize. Okay, but viewers don't pay money for hours watching, so there's no revenue to pay out from viewers accumulating channel points. The goal of using points is clearly to use a form gamification in order to encourage people watching more content without actually costing a bunch more money the fen the benefits are huge for streamers but what are the benefits for for streamers I what what are you what are you talking about what are you talking about um Already use it with third part apps, they're just making it efficient. That was from one year ago. Do streamers earn revenue from channel points? That's a good question. Know oh, that it's only for viewers, only to have unlimited channel points, but they never use it. Viewers, however, can redeem these points to make the streamer do push ups or to drink water or just highlight their message and some Minecraft. Yada yada yada. Uh, still don't understand if it does do anything for me or not. So basically, they are there to make me feel better about spending time watching you play. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the channel points are actually the friends we made along the way. 
For us to torture Lion, that's all it needs to be. No! No! I should be compensated! I should be... Fully compensated for suffering through all of you maniacs. This might be the last one? Potentially? Let's see. Number one. Luigi number one. Put it on the Switch. Yeah, that's what that's what we say about this game. About Banjo and Kazooie. Put it on the Switch. My aiming for pooping is very bad. Swear to God. Come on. You're the last one. Good gravy. Good, good gravy. But yeah, that level used to scare me when I was a kid. Okay, so before you interrupt me, I was going to say that I I have made this story. I have said this story before that when I was a kid, I the TV that I had was an old CR TV, and it had like the brightness busted i guess um so it was like very dark like super dark like let me see if i can maybe recreate a little bit uh let me see here since i have the this thing up right here let me give me a second uh where's the brightness oh here it is so it will probably be like maybe this no, that's too dark. Like, or, or or yeah, it kind of was like this. Like, yeah, kind of like this. Actually, it would be like this dark. Um, obviously, right now there is still colors and shit. But if you've played Kingdom Hearts one, um, and I have told this in my Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Uh, in the Destiny Islands, when, like, it's being uh, engulfed by darkness and shit, all I could see was just the yellow eye, the yellow eyes of the Heartless, because it was, like, this, or even more, it, it didn't have enough brightness. Um, what was the other game? Rugrats Search for Reptar used to scare the hell out of me in that, in that, uh, one level where you have to use a flashlight to get rid of ghosts because again um the brightness was like so low so yeah this, this would have been this would have also been just like those games for me as a kid then like if i would have played it there back to normal so yeah i can understand why you would why this level would scare you uh, Bernard. Okay, so. Nope. Uh, I knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna have work. Yep. What if I... Yeah. 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 Nah! Do you wanna hear about Click Clock Wood? Have you ever heard the tragedy of Click Clock Wood? No, I I suppose you wouldn't. Okay, come on. I clearly made the jump and got up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sure, go right ahead. Tell me a story, Bernard. Papa Bernard, would you tell me a story? Do I have to step on it or do I have to hit it is my question. Let me save, by the way, just in case. Oh, ho, ho. sneaky. You are a sneaky game. 
And now I am at the top. I am the bear of the world. I am the king bear of the world. Okay, okay, okay. Just saving again, just in case. Grab the pole. Aha! See, this level, I like this level. This, this level is actually pretty good. I, pretty good. Like it. I like it. Now, let us not forget that I do have fall damage. Because I will forget. Is there something behind here? A feather. So the reason I love Click Clock Wood is because the level is basically a giant tree and its surroundings, but it has four variations. Spring, summer, autumn, and season. Season? Season? Spring, summer, autumn, and winter? I guess is what you were saying, but for some reason you put season? So you start with spring and work your way through the seasons all the way to winter, and to... To me it was super cool to see how things change. That's actually like... One of the reasons why I love Spyro 2 as well, because they have like that theme of... Oh, the first home world is summer, the second one is autumn, and the last one is winter. They were supposed to do like a fourth one uh, for spring, but uh, it never happened. Uh, you know, because they basically they did Spyro 1, 2, and 3 one year apart from each other. So, you know. Also, no, no notes this time around. Interesting. Banjo the pumpkin. <laughs> oh my god. I like how he has a, a fucking backpack. And still doing the croc. Okay, so how do I... Oh, okay, there we go. Still doing the croc sound of... Woo! Yahoo! Scary plat! I really do need to do croc Legend of the Gobbles one of these days. Like, seriously. 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 Um, I'm guessing that the pumpkin can actually go through Swampy, Swampy's Revenge. Uh, I don't think that I actually need to go over here. I did get all of the shits. Not how I was supposed to do it, but, you know, I still did it. Because... That is how the li that is how the lion does it. So you'll come across characters and things that change with each season. Like in spring, you'll meet some squirrels, some squirrels that are building a house. In summer, they are working hard collecting nuts. In autumn, they are eating the nuts, and then in winter, they are hibernating. Oh, that's actually pretty. Damn. That sounds really cool. Actually, I'm looking forward to that to this level now. Don't hype it up too much. Uh, okay, so I believe I have to use this. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so question. Huh? How do I get that? Is there like something that I need to do? Like there. Hmm. Debra. <laughs> Debra, where are you? I need help. What do I do as a pumpkin? What do I do as a pumpkin? What does the pumpkin do? Besides jumping and saying woo! Or maybe I have to come from it from up top, but how do I get up top? The pumpkin can't climb, right? No, can't climb. 
How do I get up there? Like, there is the toilet, too, that I need to go up there for. Do I need to, like... Oh, wait! I opened the... The front door. Maybe the front door... Maybe. Just maybe. Let's see. Okay. So... Okay, so that's... This is probably not gonna work. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do, people? Why don't you play this? What do I do? Does somebody tell me what am I fighting for? Yeah, I see you. I'll get you when I transform back. Probably should have taken care of these enemies. Can I, like... Oh, huh. is there really nothing else that I can do here? Playing Monster Hunter Rise while I watch the stream and the pumpkin is distracting me. Good, good, get distracted. Now tell me what I have to do. I am a pumpkin. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. I am a pumpkin. What do I do as a pumpkin? Do I get like some sort of power? No. What do I do? Guess I can't double jump either, so... What gives? How the hell do I get up there? How do I get to the top of the house? Think. Is there like secret entrances? Never did tell me to destroy every... Every window. Maybe there's a secret? Maybe the basement. Or the attic. Or no, the basement. The This place. The dungeon. Maybe down here? I see nothing here. Where's my phone? Okay, let's see. Da -da -da. Banjo Kazooie. Pumpkin. Roof or chimney or something. Gotta put a video. On mute. You won't hear shit. Damn, the <laughs> Great googly moogly. The video that I'm watching, good god, the frame rate. Ugh. Atrocious. It's like five frames per second, almost. Good God. Good, good God. Good gravy. Okay. Uh huh. Ah, uh, ya veo. Mmm, I see. Ah. Uh, mmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. 
So I know what I have to do. I know where I have to go. So here's what you actually have to do. Because I'm dumb. And also because I've never played this game. So, you go through here. And you come right up here. And voila! We're up here. We up in this bitch. Let's see if there's anything of interest aside from that honeycomb. That honeycomb hat out. Have you all heard about um that? Have you all heard that? The honeycomb hat out? Every single time I just have to say it for some reason. This the one that has the toilet? Yes, it is. Happy landings, little one. Flush! Flush goes the pumpkin. Oh, what is this? Ah! Can't attack these guys. That it? That it? That all? I guess so. So imagine... <laughs> Can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands, filthy bear. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if you fucking flushed a goddamn... You know what? I'm not even going to say anything else. You you know what I'm going to say. And I'm not going to describe it. That pumpkin must be rotting after going through that toilet. Yeah, but can you imagine just flushing, flushing one down, flushing a dookie down, and it suddenly it comes back. It just... <laughs> like, bruh. Okay, so what am I missing? I'm missing the Jinso and 10 notes. And I keep saying Jinso. It's Jinjo. Jinjo. Jinjo's Kapui. Kapui. So I'm missing one Jinjo, which will give me one note, and then something else. While you are sitting, I mean, that would be not convenient, so... I wonder, was there something that I was missing here? That I couldn't get unless I was a pumpkin? No. Oh, wait a minute, wait. Hey, wait a minute. I saw something. Or not. If that ever happens to you, please let me know. I need to laugh. Like, whoosh. God damn it, not again. Stop going in there. What am I missing? Somebody tell me. What am I missing? Aside from the Jinjo. That is over there. Oh, the running shoes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I'm still missing 10 notes. Fuck you. I already got the... I don't even know why I'm here. 
That's what I say every time I stream. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't know. Okay, so I think that that's... Unless if I do that running shoes thing and it makes notes appear? I don't know. We'll see. Let's let's see what the hell happens here. Does this, does this even open? Now I'm actually questioning. How do I get out of here? Okay, now this is getting... Now this is getting serious. How do I get out of here? Help! Help! I guess I could just... Fly from up, up top. Which side? There. Okay. Okay, so... Defeated here. So God, I still need to grab the piece. Cause god damn it. There. Okay, so I'm still missing those ten. I hope I just please please let those ten notes just show up once I hit this shit. Oh, it, it let me go in. Okay. How do I... I didn't know that I could do that. God damn you, game. God damn you. Okay. Second time is the charm. That's what they say. Maybe. Run. With one second to spare. Oh, great. Now we're in Castlevania. Damn it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, man! You would think that that that, that does anything, but no, it doesn't. 
Plot twist, it doesn't. God damn you, could you fall in place, mate? Please, Banjo, please, man. Me cago en la madre. Save state. Oh boy, why do I feel like there's going to be a a, a mini game about uh, the notes? I can feel it. It's the master hand. Mozart plays easy with ease, but you can follow him on the keys. Oh boy. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. That's not it. That's not the ticket. I'm going to make a safe state in every single note. Or at least every two. Or three. Or four. Just in case I screw up. You sure do take forever, hand. Your music skills are mighty fine. So take this golden piece of mine. Everybody just really has to rhyme, don't they? Bust a rhyme. Uh, question, how do I get... To where the note is. Hmm? How do I get up there? Still missing six notes from this level, but we got all the jiggies. Four notes. This is the same song that has been playing during the the level because it's only sounds familiar. Maybe it is the same song. I'm I'm finally going crazy. Not that I wasn't before. Hold it, cabrón. I was going to leave. I was going to let you leave, but then you just had to. You had to come for me. That is why I had to terminate you. Okay. Finally going crazy. 
I'm always crazy. That's my secret cap. I'm always crazy. That's why I poop this egg to prove that I am crazy. Okay, one more note. We're out of this level. You found all 100 notes on this world. All right. So it's not so it is it's not the same song that was playing. Or is it? And goodbye level. I just finished run hunting a Rathalos. A Rathalos. Oh my god, they're huge! Both the Rathalos and this thing. And also my Rick! John's. Howdy! Grunty's legs and stomach things. Goodbye to all those double chins. Oh, you got your jiggies. Well, I got jiggy with it. You need to leave the level as a pumpkin. So, nine is the max amount of lives that I can... So, what do I get for doing that in here? Also, I did not see a... Uh, a grunty uh, button on the floor, like in other levels. I guess I missed it. Where the hell is the honeycomb? Get inside there? Yeah, but what's inside? Do you remember? Like, is it important to the plot? The plot! A very little, very minimalistic plot. I mean, it's not as bad as the water level to go through to Mumbo's. It's not like the swamp level where it was not good. The thing to open the next level? Okay, so important. Break the gates. Break them gates, boys. What water level? Clanker's Cavern? Fucking hated that level. No, the swamp level. I need it to be the crocodile. Uh, in order to... <sighs> get a cheat or something. Have I been to Clanker's Cavern? I don't know. That is the worst level by far. Let's see something. Let me see what levels I have gone through. Mad Monster Madness, Gobi's Valley, 3CC Peak, Bubble Gloop Swamp, Clanker's Cavern, Treasure Trove Cove. So I went through that one second. Or third, I guess, after Twilight, I mean Treasure Trove Cove. I don't even remember what that place was. 
In Clankers, there is no Mumbo. Yeah. I don't even remember what Clankers Cavern is. That's how much I probably hated it. Wait, is that the one? Is that the one with the with the submarine? No, no, not submarine. Is it submarine? I don't remember. That thing that the underwater thing that you have to go through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now it makes sense why I why I I don't remember it. I mean, I do remember it, but I hated it. That's probably my least favorite level. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Yeah, metallic shark. is the worst. Would I dare disturb the dead? Yes. So apparently there was no dead. Ah, I see. I've been there. I just don't remember. Honestly, Clanker and the Swamp are the weakest levels of the game, though I do like the atmosphere of the Swamp. I just don't like traversing it. I mean, I'm, Swamps in general I'm not a fan of, honestly, in any game. I'm nice and slim once more. Burgers, fries, and chips galore. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, boy. Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. I got an idea, Bernard. How about we cut up Pumpkin Banjo? Nos hacemos una fritita. Yeah, I me mean, neither, but the swamp level in this game kind of has a cool vibe. Just a pain to walk through. Yeah, that's why I didn't go back uh, to transform and, and shit, so. Yeah, I get it. Also, when am I not? Nah! Oh, Dios. Well, there's the fire that we needed to make La Fritita. Okay, which some levels are interesting in platformers? Are they though? Are they? Are they G? Also, hey G. Also, Swampy's Revenge, what am I thinking of when I say that? It's not Croc. But it's similar. Is it Frogger? You either hate them or like them. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't I really don't. I don't like uh swamps. Go left. Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Which lost book? Finders, bear, and bird are. Spell they get. Sure to back lady. On book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Red Feathers on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Okay, so this is the one that Mythos was telling me last time. Getting letter other spellbooks are. 
Then you then you should find something to bother. It's Krog, I think. I think that it's What's the name of the second Krog game? I know that the first Krog game is Legend of the Gobos. But what's the name of the second one? Fuck me. I can't remember. Croc. 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 Two. Oh, huh. Croc Two didn't have a subtitle. I thought that it did. For some reason. It's just Croc Two. Again, I really should do Croc Legend of the Gobos for First Strike one of these days. I've already done Gex. So I should do Croc. What am I thinking of Swampy's Revenge? Let me see. I think that it's Frogger. Swampy's... Yeah, it is Frogger. Frogger 2, Swampy's Revenge. That's a franchise that needs to come back. It needs a remake. Croc really... Croc and Gex both need a remake. Just... Hashtag... Remake Croc, hashtag remake Gex, hashtag put him on the Switch. Even though they were like PlayStation games only, I don't think that they ever left the PlayStation, to be honest. Fuck. Fuck. It's not easy being a pumpkin. Well, it's not easy managing through this place, anyways. Who the fuck is Swampy? I don't know who Swampy is! Remaster Legend of the Goon. Croc 2, the dark... Croc 2, the dark... The dark croc. Oh, interesting. Um... I don't know who Swampy is either. I just know that I know the name Swampy's Revenge. Um... I won't magic get weak. Yeah, 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 I know this. Frogger has had games on Nintendo, had a pretty good one in GBA. Yeah, I've seen Nitro Rat talk about all those all the Frogger games, and he has said that a couple of them are good. I should probably do some Frogger games for First Strike as well. Um, also, D, no, not remaster, remake Legend of Dragoon. Hashtag remake Legend of Dragoon. Hashtag... Put it on the 5. Put it on the PS5. Because it's a Sony Interactive uh, franchise. So, no Switch. Sorry. Okay, so where... Where's the water place thing that I need to go to? Because I already don't remember. Oh, it is... It's Wow! That's a... That's a transition! If I've ever seen one. How the hell did you go underwater if you weren't underwater? Like, how do we... How? 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 Actually, Sony lost the rights? Really? Did they? So, anyone is up for, for grabs? Can I make some calls to Nintendo? Nintendo! Put it on the Switch! Like, I fucking hate that they... I mean, god, it, it didn't sell well, but... This is what I... Well... I was going to say, this is what I hate about Sony, but Nintendo and Xbox also do the same. Like... There has not been, there has not been a new Banjo Kazooie. There has not been a new F Zero. We're struggling to get that Metroid Prime Four. Um, like all the companies just think so. I think it was one of those franchises like Crash. That's interesting because it was internally made by. Uh, Sony, it's it themselves like it wasn't like a, an Insomniac or uh, Naughty Dog situation.
Rise, motherfucker. Rise. Did I screw the pooch though by making this my by making the water level rise? Like should I have Could I have destroyed that 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 thing or is it un indestructible? Somebody answer me. Like it doesn't I don't I don't think I could have the like uh shoulder bash this thing. Right? Like I should go the natural progression route and go through here. It's just that, unfortunately, franchises like F-Zero, Metroid, etc. are beloved on the internet, but they don't sell as much as people claim they love it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. It, it is, like, unfortunate, man. A ship. Oh, there it is. Rusty Bucket Bay. Is that the one that you were referring to the last time? Also, is Click Clock Woods the last level, or is it this one? There's a Disney puzzle game called Where's My Water with Alligator Named Swampy? Okay. Also, speaking of alligators, again, I recommend, if you have Netflix, go watch uh, Arlo the Alligator Boy. It is a very good uh, movie. S short uh, animated movie. Click Clock is the last one. Okay. The fact that the Metroid Primes... Barely sold a million each or so. It's honestly saddening because those are amazing games. Yeah, and then Nintendo does the dumb dumb of making Metroid Samus Returns a 3DS game when the Nintendo Switch was already out. Like, I bought Samus Returns. Like, it was my savior during Hurricane Maria. So, the last one is the Jeopardy Trivia Night. Yes, I have heard about that nightmare. Okay, so, as usual, gonna enter the level, gonna make a save state, and that'll be the stream. Because we are already almost at two hours. Alright. Save state! There. Alright, so, Samus Return was amazing. Yeah, I... I really dug Simon's Return. I just like Metroid in general, like the Metroid games in general. So I don't, I can't really say that um, one. I, I like one more than the other, but uh, I really wish that they would put the Metroids on the Switch. At the time, it made sense because Switch was still in, unproven and 3DS was selling hotcakes. But they should have ported it to the Switch. Yeah, yeah, they definitely should have. Like. I kind of wish that once they're done porting Wii U games, uh, like what's 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 left at this point? Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I think that's it, right? Like, what other game is left from the Wii U that that they haven't ported yet to the Switch? Like, maybe once they're done with that, maybe they can move on to. Porting, remaking some 3DS games, DS games. Like, they they already did uh, The World Ends With You, even though I have heard that that one is not good. The port, so... Fatal Frame, not much. Yeah, because the one that a lot of people wanted was Super Mario 3D World, and we already got that one. 
uh, Twilight Princess. I mean, the the Zelda games that they ported to the to the Wii U, they have got to put them on the Switch. Like seriously, Nintendo. Uh, I know that we're getting Skyward Sword HD next. Well, two months from now or next month. We're almost done with April, anyways. Um, but just put all of them on the Switch, honestly. Or of all that's holy Twilight Princess. There's a couple more that just honestly don't make sense to port, like Nintendo Land, Mario Maker 1. Aren't they? What's the new... Wasn't there a... a... Am I thinking of Metopia? Is that the one that I'm thinking that they are porting? The TPHD port is honestly the worst kept secret? Yeah, it's, it's hella dumb. It's hella dumb, man. Like, we know it's coming. Just... Say it already. Stop with the bullshit. Um, I don't think that there's anything else at this point. But if, if they do Twilight Princess, they have to do Wind Waker like they did. That, that double combo. That wombo combo. Because I have never played either of those games. So I want them on the Switch. Utopia have support from a 3DS game. Yeah. Miiverse. I don't think that there's anything else left uh, uh, aside from those. Like we've gotten pretty much everything at this point. Um, I don't know. I just again, I wish that they didn't give up on fran on some franchises. But also, gamers don't actually. I'll look up which ones haven't been ported. Okay, <laughs> don't actually buy. This. Uh, I'm not going to do like the like the Days Gone guy that said, "Well, if you wanted a sequel, you should have bought the game at sixty dollars." <laughs> hey, man, at sixty dollars, I wasn't, I probably wasn't going to buy it because, a, it looked like generic, uh, zombie game, Star Fox Zero. Uh, yeah, I knew I was forgetting one, and it is Star Fox Zero. There is no Star Fox on the Switch yet, so. I mean, Star Fox 2, if you count the online subscription thing, but still. Twilight Princess was the first Zelda game I ever beat. Game and Wario. I'll buy it for 20 and I'll use a coupon for $19.99. Are you talking about Days Gone? It's, it's free right now with PS Plus, G. I told you to get it. I also have a physical copy of it. I literally bought it the other day um, from eBay. Because I actually really do love Days Gone now. It's just when it was first shown off, it looked like generic zombie game. And it's actually not. It's actually pretty damn amazing. I actually really dig it. And I'm sad that we are not getting Days Gone 2. But then again, I had heard that they wanted to add like um, multiplayer and some other shit to Days Gone 2. So I'm like... Yeah, why not just focus on the story, which is the best part, kind of, of the game? So, the Days Gone guy was right, even if he came out as an a-hole. <sighs> Look, man, here's here's what I'm going to say, okay? If devs want people to actually buy games at $60, $70, or whatever, they have to put a playable demo so that people can try those games out and see if they they actually... Have interest. I know it's it's more work for the devs, but if you want results, you gotta work for it. So I don't know, just like <laughs> you know, we we fit you. There's already Ring Fit Adventure. That's how you secure sequels, unfortunately. Yeah, I know, I know. Sixty dollars, yada yada. That's why we haven't gotten a Titanfall two as well because. Uh, a lot of us, myself included, bought the game after the fact that it was, um, you know, when people actually were, were talking more about the game. Or do like they did with Returnal and put a long look for it out there. That's a multiplayer shit that can generate money and boom. Hmm. I don't know, I like I like Days Gone to be single player. But that's, that's just my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. 
You know what else they should port to the Switch? Banjo Kazooie! Maybe make it a remake or something, I don't know. That's why I already bought Returnal because I've seen it and it looks cool. And that's why I haven't bought Returnal because I I've heard about it. I've and I now I've heard that it's challenging and and a, and it's a roguelite. So those are not selling points for me. But hey, if if, if it is for you, then that's some that's supported then. Um, just like I'll be supporting Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart already pre-ordered, baby, because I know what I'm getting with that franchise. Could be sixty, could be forty, could be seventy. I'll 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 drop the cash. Because, you know, that's a franchise that I do love and I do know what I'm getting myself into. The problem with new franchises, again, is that they they can either they can sell you like a ton of shit. They can show you a lot of shit and then maybe it's not what you thought it would be. Eternal doesn't seem to be my thing. Yeah, it's not my thing. It's totally not my thing. <laughs> I know that people are like, hey, they put out this, they did that, and I... Uh... People have said that it's like roguelite control, and, you know, if it is that, then I will just play control. <laughs> Again, because I have it on PS5 now. So I have a, another opportunity to get uh, the Platinum again. So, hard roguelites are usually a hard pass for me. Like, the only roguelite, or roguelike or whatever, that I, that I like, and I only beat, like, one run of the game, it's Dead Cells. That game is pretty fantastic on the first run <laughs> trying to do more than one run trying to beat that game is fucking asinine and whatever i did bought uh hades physically because i have heard that out of all the heroic lights supposedly this is the it is the most accessible one maybe so 50 and a coupon for Hector. <laughs> yeah uh, that's why I'm getting RE8 either day one or a couple days later. I did God. I have, uh, takes a lot for me to enjoy roguelites. Yeah, I played, uh, God, what's its name? The Swords of Ditto. And I got the Platinum, but let me tell you something. I hated that game by the end of it. Like, it, it's, it's like a Zelda type roguelite um but it to get the platinum it requires so much rng that i fucking hated it because again it's randomized rng <laughs> um took a lot of willpower to try and fully enjoy hades and it's good but it still doesn't click with me the same way it does with other people i need to do an indie strike of hades eventually one of these days now that i have it I hate roguelikes, but uh, because of the gameplay, this has my kind of gameplay. Fair. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting. You know, we, we all have, like, our different things that we like, that we don't like, that we look for in games, that we don't look for in games. And that's why we su support and don't support the games that are coming out. Obviously, now with the increase of uh, in increased price of games uh, in this new generation, it's also... It also has made me go like, you know, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should wait. And that is going to be a problem for a lot of developers moving forward is this now that the price point has increased, a lot of people are not going to buy the games at launch. So it'll make even more Days Gone situations of games not selling well. And uh, the big corporations going on like, oh, this game didn't sell well. No sequel. So... It's it's a shame, man. I it's it's diff it's difficult. Like the state of the world really isn't that great. So, Eternal is also helped a lot by the fact that we still don't have stuff we can call PS5 games, save for Demon Souls. Yeah, I mean Miles Morales, but that was also on PS4. Games should have been more expensive before now, so I don't really feel bad about that. You can you could say that argument, but I I still had a problem with sixty dollar games, so I don't know. Lion rant, I'm always ranting. G, you know how I am. You just gotta take a sip and back in the nineties, games were a hundred plus. Yeah, I guess that I don't remember any of that because I didn't buy games in the nineties. It was mostly just 
either my mom buying me the games or I just rented them from Blockbuster. Like, that's another thing. Like, Game Pass is an amazing service because it actually lets you play games day one when they release. I do want to know how those devs are getting paid, though. Like, for a lot of those devs that release games day one and they are in... And they are in Game Pass day one. I want to know what is Microsoft doing to make sure that the game does well. Like, I don't... I, I don't know. I don't understand. You should do this talk and chat more often. This is fun. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I, I just... You know, there are some topics that I that I am interested in, um, and that I obviously don't go into much detail in the nineties. I could play like three games a year. I mean, I, uh, in the nineties, I just I didn't have a memory card, so ev and I have made this story before. Every game that I rented from Blockbuster, I had to basically beat them. Uh, in the weekend because we usually just rented them on Friday So I had the whole weekend to try and play and beat the game Which is why I never played many RPGs when I was growing up until I had the PS2 which and then I had a, a memory card um, Statistics seem to be showing that not only do they financially benefit from being on game pass uh, With what Microsoft pays them, but also they sell more that is interesting. That is a that is very interesting uh, I have use of plus I'm going to get Far Cry 6 and all the DLC they won for just 15 a month Because it's basically doing what blockbuster did let you play games and try them out Yeah, that's what I have mentioned before when I have talked about game pass and PS now to an extent They are the modern day blockbuster you basically just get to You pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee if, if you manage to grab one uh, from PS now and Essentially, you just have free reign to play these games until that fee is done. It's done so. Um, obviously, when it was the blockbuster days, you could only like rent one for one for for a certain amount of money, and here it's like more. Um, but yeah, it's I still like to call it the modern day blockbuster because you can just you can try out the game. Did you like it? You can keep playing it and maybe support the dev and buy it or you could uh, Just stop playing it if you didn't actually like it. That's what I that's why I actually like PS now and, and game pass because You know before them. I felt like because I spent money on games um, I Had to beat them obligatory. I needed to beat this this game. I used to go to video Avenue I know because you're from my west. I'm from Santa Grande, so we didn't have Video Avenue. Uh, also, Blockbuster was closer in San Germán. Um, uh, but when I, but I, I, we did when I went to my grandmother's house. We did went to, or we did go to Video Avenue actually uh, to rent some movies and shit. But um, yeah, I, it was mostly Blockbuster for me. Um, Game Pass, if a game leaves Game Pass, you lose it. So you would buy it if you want to own it. Or keep it, I guess. Not own it. Yeah. Yeah, keep it. Not own. You don't really own games, honestly. Um, yeah, because that's something that I did. I, I, I played Days Gone. Um, and I liked it so much that I decided to get myself a physical copy. Because I liked it so much. So... Country road, take me home to the place I belong. Savannah Grande, oh big blanket, take me home. Big blanket, big sheet, or big blanket, whatever, you, however you want to say it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like Game Pass and PS Now. And I'm glad that Game Pass is actually doing more good than than bad for developers then. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. But again, games either need to go on Game Pass then, uh, day one, or make demos of games. Especially, not, a, not of every game. I, I, 
I used to say of every single game, but no, it should like be specific ones. Like, you know, we got the Balan Wonderworld demo, and that opened up the eyes to everybody to see the shit train that that thing was. I played it, I my, my excitement for that game went from 10 to 0 in minutes. <laughs> put Game Pass on Steam? How do you want better? Put put Game Pass on the Switch! Um, but yeah, games like Returnal, games like... Um, God, what other... What other games? I mean, it's 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 kind of difficult as well sometimes because we did get the Marvel's Avengers beta, and I did not come out of that beta positive. I didn't really like Marvel's Avengers after that beta, although I wasn't too into the idea of Marvel's Avengers to begin with. But once I actually played the game, I saw that it was much better than the beta. So. Demos sometimes can also be harmful to good games, but it can also <laughs> show you the not so good games. So I don't know. Demos should exist for new IP. I I I think at, at the very least it should be for new IPs. Like I don't, you know, I know that um, that people love that Resident Evil 8 got demos and whatnot. But I think that that's an established franchise that people are willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. Although, considering Resident Evil's tra track record with Resident Evil 5 and 6, maybe it was a good idea that they made a demo or demos. I don't know, I'm talking out of my ass at this point. Now I got the PS5, I feel that right now Series X is a better deal because of Game Pass. I love that you keep saying GS instead of GP. And every time I read GS, all I think is game GameStop instead of Game Pass. Ultimately, why games Game Pass works better than a demo? A demo can give a bad impression, whereas Game Pass actually lets you see the game for what it is. Yeah, that is true. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe do put Game Pass on Steam. Maybe put it on the Switch. Maybe put it on the PS Five. <laughs> that's never gonna happen. But or maybe it will. Who knows? We got Cuphead and the new Super Lucky Stale on PlayStation now. The sky's the limit, Bobby. The sky's the limit. Bobby? Who's Bobby? I don't know who's Bobby. Who Bobby is. Um, why have I been saying GS? I don't know. I've been letting you go at it with GS. <laughs> Betas and demos don't do anything for me for the most part. I'm a video guy and seeing the Digital Foundry, look at how the game runs. I'm excited for RE8 and I have no interest in the demos. Capcom has been killing it, so I have no real worry. That's fair. That's also fair. But again, it is an established franchise. That seems to be Microsoft's plan. Honestly, I wish that there wasn't a console war. <laughs> like, we're, this isn't the 80s. This isn't even the early 2000s. Just, for, just fuck, fuck it, man. Just, look. Let's just... <laughs> one of the three has got to fold at some point. Seriously. I really wish that one of the three would just stop it. GS as in G Supreme. <laughs> I really wish that they did. Like, I know that Nintendo's not gonna do it because the Switch is still selling like hotcakes. I I would see Microsoft like maybe leaving it. Like they they don't really care about the console wars, and neither should we. Honestly, it's stupid. Games, just play games. That's that's about it. Saying things like Bethesda games will be exclusive to GP consoles. They kind of left the window open to bringing it to other consoles. Think that the console wars have been cyclical? Yeah, I don't know. It's just... I don't think any of the RE games are bad. Tell that to the fan, to the other fans. But we're we're all independent here. We all decide and think whatever we want to think about certain games. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Just Microsoft put Game Pass on on every every everywhere. Just pull just pull a Bethesda. Just like Bethesda puts Skyrim everywhere. Just we just we just talk sometime. 
a talk with lion this has been this has been interesting this has been probably the most that i've talked uh and bring other people maybe maybe it, it could be interesting to actually do like some sort of uh podcast you should do a playthrough of sonic 06 that he can all i don't have it i don't have sonic 06 so no i'm not buying sonic 06 madison crossoff is already pushing pc so i could see them leaving yeah that's why i'm saying like they don't really care about the console thing like just put it on put game pass on everything Microsoft would be more than happy to put it everywhere. You gotta ask Sony. Yeah, Sony's the one. Sony's the stubborn goat. The stubborn old goat that is just like, no, no. I don't want to play with you. No, no. Mm -mm. I will not budge. So, I'll buy it. Oh, God. Saturday morning with Lion. God, Saturday morning with Lion would not be great, though. Like... If I wake up too early, like, I will have a, a much better voice than I have right now because I will be fresh out of bed, but I would be all groggy and just... <laughs> Microsoft would put it everywhere, all right? Yeah, just like Microsoft, to stick that big, huge, erect game pass on everything. I'm not gonna say anything else. Anyways, we should do this more often. Me just um, talking and chatting. Hydrate. Yeah. Yeah, hydrate. Oh. Some good, some good, some good water. Sunday night at midnight with flying. No, I can't do midnight. My folks would kill me. When I, when I have my own place, maybe, maybe. But yeah, I I, I should probably do. Uh, do more game talk eventually um like this is the most that i've probably talked about a certain topic mostly because i don't have a controller in my hand once i have a controller in my hand it is so difficult to actually like focus on two things at the same time like talk and uh does that mug have infinite water or something <laughs> yeah yeah that's what's happening let's talk later um so yeah, it's it's difficult to actually like talk and and play at the same time. Like it, it's it's a skill that I don't fully have, I guess. I mean, Bernard, you know, you know that Tim Terry struggled with it uh, while doing uh, replay and super replay and shit, like having to concentrate concentrate on trying to play the game and talk at the same time it's not easy like i i want to sometimes talk more about topics but i also have to focus on the game so uh is that cup from thor ragnarok maybe who is she who is who who is who what are you talking about I don't know what you're talking about, man. Kyle also struggled. Kyle struggles with everything. He picked the van. <laughs> Kyle the Van Hilliard. He picked the fucking van. Good God. Anyways, that's about it. Or else I'm just gonna keep talking. I won't shut up. Well, I'll try to do this this again. Uh, this talking, you know. It's good. It's good. Maybe bring in some other people, so... The emoji? I mean, not emoji, the emote? I don't know. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Honestly. I, I, Mythos would probably know. He knows all about emotes and shit, so. I have a better question for you. Why is she? <laughs> why is she? Uh, why is Gamora? Yeah. But anyways, people. Uh, I'll keep talking tomorrow. Because tomorrow, I'll be back. With a brand spanking new episode of First Strike. I'll be playing Pokemon Snap. Uh, I have a story about Pokemon Snap. I I want to say that I have played it before. I'll leave it for tomorrow. I'll leave it for tomorrow. Um, then on Friday... Mythos is an emote. Yeah, basically. Then on Friday, 
uh, Tales from the Borderlands, Episode 3. And on Sunday, Mystery Movie Friends returns. We're going to be talking about the original 1977 Star Wars. So, uh, and then Banjo-Kazooie next week again. So, yeah. The new Pokemon Snap? No, the, the original one. The original Pokemon Snap. Remember, re First Strike is essentially replay. So I play old games. So, no no new... I mean, I, I have done new shit in the past, but now I'm committed to do it old school. So, Orlando, you're getting into the good stuff now. So I've heard. So I've heard. But anyways, people, that'll be it for tonight's stream. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. For letting me talk. Talk to talk, walk to walk. Legma the Sigma. In the Sigma. <laughs> um... But yeah, uh, thanks for dropping by, for watching, for chatting, for lurking, all of that stuff. Till next time, people. May your hearts be your guiding key. Remember, stay inside, stay alive, stay hydrated, and be kind to everybody. And remember to like, share, subscribe over on YouTube.com slash Commander Lionheart. And give me a follow right here on Twitch.tv slash Commander Lionheart. Also, Go buy my shit over at tpublic.com slash user slash master wildflower. You may have an infinite mug of water. Who knows? Maybe you're a lucky person. Uh, I mean, if you were playing games old school like you, wouldn't that be Pong? No soy tan viejo, cabrón. No venga. Anyways, people. Have yourselves a good night, everybody. <laughs>